What's up, my beautiful divine feminines? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Karmic Circus. We're over here. We expose all of these karmic as clowns. Now, the karmic clown can be an ex of yours, a family member, a friend, um, a co worker, I heard social worker. <laughs> A neighbor but this this particular reading divine feminine I am is the word ecstatic about this energy that I got here and this energy is about a karmic feminine apparently she listened to auntie this is the energy of a karmic feminine who has changed her ways to become a divine feminine. I am. I was so happy when I see the, the card, when I was shuffling these cards, I pulled them out. And when I got to the divine feminine, she flipped out on the floor and she went in, she came upright. But when I was shuffling her, she was in reverse. So this was, this is a feminine energy. She went through some shit. Something happened to her to where you know, um, it made her don't not to want to be in a karmic energy anymore. She's she's in her divine energy. Ooh, y'all put thumbs up. Tell that tell that karmic energy. I don't know who she is, but this is somebody, and I believe she listened to some of my messages about karmic energies the past few days when I've been talking about why the queens are in reverse. So, you know, and when I started shuffling the cards, it showed me this karmic energy. She turned to a divine feminine. Um, somebody broke her heart. She healed. She went and she cried it out. And this was over somebody she was in a soulful relationship with. And whoever the masculine, you know, she was in reverse. She was a dark witch energy because this, this king of swords in reverse, he was manipulating her. He was stingy with her. He was taking shortcuts when it comes to the relationship. Yeah. He was he was trying to turn her or divine feminine. This could be you. And this king of fucking swords was trying to turn you into a dark witch. He wanted to throw you off of your crown, off of your your uh your um throne. He wanted to make you unhappy. And maybe at some point in time you was unhappy. Maybe some point in time he did break your heart. This is from one of my feminines out there. I'm giving you all the thumbs up that I can give you, baby. Okay? I'm proud of you. So we're going to pull some more energy on, on whoever this energy is. And ladies, please keep in mind, this may not resonate with some of you. But I know it's going to resonate with some of my girls out there that watched one of my videos and I was, you know... It was, they, they watched that video where I said calling all divine feminines. She watched that video. So show me the energy around this new divine feminine when it comes to this manipulating ass king of swords. Ten of cups. Wow. Yay. Ten of cups. Okay. So, but you still have a, 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 a lion ass masculine around you. What is this Ten of Cups here for this divine feminine who's, who's, she's graduated from a karmic energy. And people may say, you can't be a, be a karmic one day and then be a divine feminine. Yes, the fuck you can because divine feminine carries the energy of all four queens upright. Uh, uh, um, when the queens are in reverse, there's a reason. They're a queen. And if they're in reverse, there's a reason they're, they are in reverse. And auntie been breaking it down a little more to find out why my, my nieces, these queens out here, are being, you know, represented as dark evil witches we don't like that no we don't like that because all women you should be queens and you should be represented as a queen 
And that's the way I look at it. Don't be out here thotting and, and breaking up marriages and relationships and, and you know, just doing the most out here. Stay in a queen energy and you'll get respected like a queen. That's all. That's what it is. Okay, so... Five of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse is about revenge, um, regrets, reconciling. Um, it could it it also upright it rep it represents competition, conflict, arguments, and fights and shit. Somebody is, is either they want revenge because they may feel like they lost something. This this king of swords, he may want revenge with this divine feminine, yes, because she got out of this karmic energy. Somebody is feeling stuck. Oh, okay, so what I'm getting here is this king of swords in reverse, he tried to turn this feminine, have her to be, you know, like a a queen of cups in reverse. He wanted, you know, he was he was trying to bring out a bitch in you, you know what I mean? But you still showed him divine love. He's tried to start arguments with you. And whoa, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't fall for it. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is, and you're not reconciling with this person. Yeah. So it's like, this is somebody, um, I see why some of the queens being reversed because you are a queen, but you was a queen, a distorted queen, or you was in a, a, a low vibrational energy behind this king of swords. And, he, and it probably made you mad. You probably, this is somebody who you would reconcile with. Okay, the five of swords in reverse also can represent reconciliation. And you you kept reconciling with this person and he was manipulating you. He would abuse his authority in the relationship. He was possessive, stingy. He didn't treat the relationship like a ten of cups. He was taking shortcuts and shit. Not wanting you to embrace your accomplishments and have joy in your life. Yeah, this is... This is he tried to take you out of your character, baby. I'm so proud of you, Divine Feminine. Karmic, she's the Princess Feminine. But she she did that shit. His, he was plotting and planning with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. He was trying to make you unhappy with the Sun in reverse. It didn't work. Trying to take your world away. Trying to crumble your cookie. Yeah, it broke your heart, but you, you're back in a Divine Feminine energy. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this broken heart. Stuck in the past and moving forward. See, yeah, he wanted you to be stuck in the past. And not moving forward. This was somebody who wanted you to be in a dark, negative, low vibrational energy, feminine. Wanted your judgment to be clouded. Not for you to have the inner clarity. But you started rethinking on the idea. You like, hmm, I get more bees with honey. And that was a bee that you didn't want. He was the big black bee. He's a hornet or something. His things will knock you out. So this is somebody who you you basically, you're not with this person no more. You're not arguing with them no more. You're not allowing them to, to control you. Because that's what they was doing. That's what he's doing. Controlling your emotions. Know how to make you mad. Start an argument with you. Know how to piss you off. Push your buttons and shit. That shit didn't work. You stayed in your divine feminine energy. You did not go down on this level with this person. Karmic feminine, which is now divine feminine. Y'all, I want to see a bunch of clapping hands in the, in the comment section. For whoever this feminine is. God bless you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm a I'ma go to some go to my Kipper deck. 
with my gilded rivery deck. Yeah, this person, they didn't, they, it's, it's like, they didn't want to burn their bridges with you, feminine energy. Yeah. They wanted you to be trapped in a situation with them. Or they want you to be. But you happy, the sun again. See, with you being in that sun energy, it's out here twice. But he didn't want you to be happy. The sun represents success, radiance, and abundance. It represents joy. The sun also gives you strength. It tells you no matter where you go or what you do, that your positive radiant energy will follow you everywhere you go, bring you joy and happiness. This is the energy saying that somebody, that people are drawn to you because you always see the brighter side of things. You make a person feel good when they're feeling down. And you made yourself feel good even though you was feeling down. You happy, okay? this is resonating with you, I'm asking you to hit that thumbs up button. And if it's not resonate with you, energetically donate some of your beautiful energy to my channel by hitting that thumbs up button. And make sure if you haven't subscribed already, go on here, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Okay. We have official person. So this person could be in the military, law enforcement. You could be officially um, married to them. They could work for the government or something. You didn't expect this from them. You didn't expect this person to, you know, be a liar and a manipulator, to start arguments with you. You didn't expect for them to, like, put you in competition with other feminine energies. This could be why you was, was why you was in reverse. This person, he was manipulating you, trying to make you jealous, trying to do everything in his power to take you out of that feminine energy. He wants you to just act a fool over him. But I see you, feminine energy. You didn't fall for that shit. Look at that sun. See? You still happy. That's right. That's right. I want to see a bunch of suns in the comment. A bunch of suns. If you happy, put a bunch of suns in the comments. Somebody is married. You could have been married to this person or you, you may still be married to this person. You could have, you could have felt it was a soul contract. And if this person is a uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, they're they're a big ass liar. Okay, and they will they will. Um, now it's different for everybody because all signs are are on the cusp and and in different <laughs> different birth charts and shit. See, here's some sort of manipulation, witchcraft. Spell work, something, some sort of something he was trying to do, but you still happy. Yeah. He did this as a as a plot of revenge. And it ain't working because he tried to do something that you know, if you if he did break your heart, you then you have um healed from that. You went somewhere and you cried about it. Yeah. Let me get this other deck. So let's see what this person got to say with the messages of love oracle deck. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right quick. And only take one little split second to hit the subscribe button. And, you know, for those of you that's, you know, tech savvy, Go into your YouTube settings and turn on the notifications and then turn on subscriptions. See, this person, they, they he has a bad habit of breaking hearts. I don't know if we, you know, if we will ever change, but he's saying he don't know if he'll ever change. He's confused. Yeah, he confused. He don't know where, where, where he stand with you. He don't know if he'll ever change, but he's trying to put it all on you because he got a big ass ego saying we, we, we. No, it ain't. It ain't we. It's him. It's him doing the shit. He broke your heart. He tried to put, you know, um, you into arguments and, and 
competition with other feminists. It was him that was plotting and planning on you. Yeah. What is this mask going to have to say to the, to the divine feminine now? She's in divine feminine energy. She's no longer in karmic energy. Look at this. Yeah, see now? See now when he's looking at you as a divine feminine? And like I said, if you was in a, um, a divine feminine energy in reverse, carrying all the, the, the low vibrational energies, and if you're up right now, that's making this masculine want to reunite with this karmic. I know divine feminine, it, it, some of you may not even be with this karmic, but this is the energy. I, I don't want to make the, the feminines be like saying, now she's trying to hook the masculines up with the karmics. No, I'm not trying to hook the masculines back up with the karmics. I'm trying to help the karmics heal and know that they have their own divine masculine. If they're ex and then broke up and, and the twin flame stuff getting back together, if you getting back together with your person and they're not healed, they still doing the same thing, that's not your person. If they not healed, if they not trying to heal, if they stand, they want to stay in a, in a, a karmic energy, you have a divine partner for you, whether you're karmic or divine. If you want a divine partner, all you have to do is transform yourself into a karmic partner. And you will meet your karmic partner, I mean your divine partner. As long as you're in a karmic energy, you're going to keep running into karmics because you're going in places where karmics are. You shop where, where all the karmics people in your neighborhood, you know where they at. You have to, this, this is where you have to start using your intuition, isolate yourself from karmic energies and being around more people who's of love and light. And then you'll find your divine part. Okay. So I'll, if this reading, you know, helped you out in your situation, I gave you any clarification, go on here, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next read. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button and the notification bell. All right. Peace out, y'all.